Hi, I'm Brenda Walton, and I'd like to show you how to make some really easy painted backgrounds that you can paint with acrylics or watercolors and then let them dry and then cut them with your die cutter and make really unique and fun patterns. I always spend a lot of time looking for just the right decorative paper, and now I realized I can just make my own really, really simply. So I'm going to show you how now. I'm using acrylic paint, and any brand of acrylic paint is fine. I'm going to show you a really simple three color technique using a pale pink, a really hot pink, and a metallic gold that will give you this really cute polka dotted pattern. So, first, just put about um, maybe a tablespoon or so of of paint onto your styrofoam plate. And I like using the styrofoam plates because you can throw them away when you're done with a project. And so just stir up the color. If it needs a tiny bit of water, you can put that in, but it should have the consistency of about like sour cream is really ideal because you want a lot of opacity to the paint. And then just use, you know, whatever brush you have on hand. If you have a foam brush, that's fine. If you have uh, watercolor brushes or even uh, oil painting brushes work well if you want kind of a textured effect. And then simply apply the paint using a kind of circular motion with your brush. And I'm spacing these kind of far apart because I'm using three colors of dots. So this is really cute and it would be adorable for uh, say a baby shower or a fun little birthday. Um, you could use it for gift wrap, or as I've done, you could uh, use the dies and cut a really cute bow or a flower or a notepad cover. Just using this uh, same decorative paper. Just make some fun little dots. Don't worry about being perfect. Just rinse your brush off in between colors. And then also, I like to pretty thoroughly dry the brush in between colors. Otherwise, the next color will get diluted and um, it's nice to have control over the opacity of the color. So I'm doing gold next and just kind of applying that, those little gold dots wherever I think there would be a good place for one. And you can see there's a lot of texture in this. It's really fun because it's so not perfect, kind of like a little kid would do. And uh, it's just really liberating to do a technique like this. Especially if you've never painted before. It's a fun way to start. And polka dots are so unintimidating and happy. So that's it for the gold layer. And then for the hot pink layer. And this is a really fluorescent hot pink. It'll just wake up the whole <laughs> design. So any three colors of your choice would be really sweet for this. But that looks terrific. And I'd like to show you some examples of how these look when they're all cut out. On this, this is the French bow die that um, I've just randomly picked a crop out of this polka dotted paper. And then I used crepe paper in the center of that. In this one, I just did a multicolored stripe. And you can see all the texture in it because the paint was quite thick. And then this one I thought would be a really cute Father's Day gift or a greeting card. And I've painted a kind of plaid pattern. In this one I painted roses right on top of an old document. And I watered down the paint a bit so there's a little bit of translucency to it so you can see the, the uh, writing underneath it. And then I, I just did some quick roses. It probably took me five minutes. And this one I just put spots of paint on the paper and kind of scrambled them up. Do you think you can do that? Yes. <laughs> and then this last one, I painted a rose, let it dry, and then ran it through my Big Shot machine using one of my textured impressions. And it's a really wonderful effect. It would be a great cover of a greeting card, or you could um, collage this into a scrapbooking layout. There's so many things that you can do with these, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this technique. Happy crafting.